I am extremely concerned about LEGO Mindstorms. Most adult fans of LEGO have been very upset with the release of the new LEGO Mindstorms Robot Inventor set number 51515. Since, despite offering many key advantages, actually got rid of some of the most unique features to EV3, like daisy chaining. But before I explain why this is the case, please be sure to subscribe to my channel to learn all about the world of LEGO Technic, which sets are the best, which pieces are the rarest, and so much more. The knowledge to all aspects of LEGO Technic is just one click away. So make sure to subscribe. But, no pressure. No pressure. This is a worldwide YouTube search graph of the keyword LEGO Mindstorms. As you can see, everything looks normal. Up until we look right over here. Something happened in June 2017 that caused a mass decline in the interest of LEGO Mindstorms. I'm not entirely sure what caused this, but I do have one main theory, which is lack of updates. No EV3 2.0 kit was ever released. Between the RCX 1.0 and 2.0 kits, there was a 3 year gap. Between the NXT 1.0 set and the NXT 2.0 set, there was also a 3 year gap. So it was natural to assume that EV3 2.0 would be coming in about 2016 or 2017. After it became clear that the EV3 would not be getting an update, the overall community probably lost interest in the EV3. As a result, community updates would rapidly decrease, such as the frequency of blog post updates, new free instructions published, the frequency of Mindstorms books published, and much more. Ultimately, this causes a negative feedback loop. The fewer community updates there are, the less community interest there is. And less community interest in Mindstorms causes a decrease in community updates. And the cycle repeats. Another theory of mine for why interest stopped so rapidly for LEGO Mindstorms is the introduction of LEGO Boost. LEGO Boost was released right around the same time when EV3 2.0 was supposed to come out, and LEGO Boost also marked the introduction of the Powered Up line. But LEGO Boost was marketed as LEGO Robotics. And as a result, many fans, including myself, thought that LEGO Boost would be replacing EV3. If LEGO Boost actually replaced LEGO Mindstorms, it would not be a good thing at all. LEGO Boost and LEGO Mindstorms do not even compare to each other. Boost has two internal motors and two external sensors, whereas the EV3 has four motor ports and four sensor ports. LEGO Boost cannot also store programs directly from the Powered Up app onto the main hub itself. You're essentially just constantly streaming the program, which is not very good for more advanced code. There is plenty of other main key disadvantages to using LEGO Boost as opposed to LEGO Mindstorms, but the main thing is, is that they don't even compare to each other in terms of hardware. And because LEGO Mindstorms had not been updated at all in the past few years before the introduction of the Robot Inventor set, community interest had been lost. Even when the LEGO Mindstorms Robot Inventor 51515 set was released, community interest wasn't raised at all. Despite the new system offering many key advantages, like absolute positioning motors, the new force sensor, compatibility with Powered Up, the smaller form factor, the internal 3-axis gyroscope, the internal accelerometer, and much more, the new system was still met with plenty of criticisms due to it lacking some key features of the EV3 and NXT. For example, although the new hub does have double the default internal storage of the EV3, the new Spike Prime system having internal 32 megabytes and the EV3 having only 16 megabytes, the EV3 did have expandable storage up to 32 gigabytes. This allowed you to store some really insane and complex programs as well as other large files. The EV3, unlike the new system, also had daisy chaining, meaning you could connect up to four EV3 bricks and have them work together as one single unit. Essentially, one robot could have 16 sensors and 16 different independent motors. That was pretty incredible. Initially, I thought that daisy chaining would be added via software update to the new Spike Prime system, either with a special powered up cable or with just Bluetooth. However, the last software update occurred over three months ago, and that was simply a maintenance update to fix bugs and other software issues. It is now clear to me that LEGO is unlikely to add daisy chaining via software update. It's not impossible, 
but it is unlikely. And you also have to keep in mind that in order to have real daisy chaining like the EV3 did, you need to use Bluetooth Classic instead of Bluetooth Low Energy. Bluetooth Low Energy on the new Spike Prime system does allow you to connect up to four separate devices, but essentially it is just a switch. It sends signal to that one, then it stops, and it sends signal to another device, and so on. It alternates. This would cause major latency issues in daisy chaining, and so the Bluetooth Classic you can only connect up to one additional device. And with a special powered up cable, you might actually damage your Spike Prime unit if you don't update its firmware. As a result, the overall community consensus for the new LEGO Mindstorm system seems to be that it's geared towards more the younger audience, specifically 7 to 10 year olds. This is a major problem, since in 2011 it was accurately stated by National Geographic that more than 50% of all Mindstorms users are adults. And because the overall community consensus is that Mindstorms is now geared for just the younger audience, Mindstorms has essentially lost the majority of its user base. Because of this, Mindstorms is now unlikely to be featured on National Geographic or other major networks, so free advertising and word-of-mouth marketing is gone for the most part. As a result, it's completely possible that Mindstorms may not sell well, I personally love the new 51515 set, and I believe it's a great addition to the LEGO Powered Up line. However, LEGO Technic Motorization and LEGO Robotics have always been two different spheres. And since the new system does lack daisy chaining and expandable storage, it does cause a lack of interest in the Mindstorms community. Despite lacking some key features, the LEGO Mindstorms 51515 Robot Inventor set actually still does have some key advantages over the EV3 system, and if you would like to learn more about the advantages of the Spike Prime system, then click on the video right over here. This is your Unbrick Me here, and I'll see you in the next one.